Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs and video games, and today I'm playing Ender Lilies. Now, last time on Ender, Ender Lilies, we defeated the Dark Witch Elaine, which gave us the Witch's Bubble, which allows us to swim. This time, I plan to swim. And I think I want to go to Enhance first. So, is there anything that we should enhance that we can enhance? We do have some Stagnant Blight. In particular, I want to enhance things that are aquatic. So we could enhance the Guardian Sea Grid. I do like the Guardian Sea Grid. I don't think I like the Headless Defender very much. And my favorite, the Western Merchant, is not aquatic. All right, let's do let's do Guardian Secret. We're going to enhance Guardian Secret to level three. Great. Now, I want to put on spirits. Particularly, I want to put on spirits that are aquatic. So the Dark Witch Elaine is important. The Cliffside Hamlet Youth we're going to replace with the Guardian Secret. We, we are at a rest site. I just didn't realize I had to switch them out right there. All right, let's go. So this one's going to switch out to Guardian Seagrid. This one is aquatic. That one's aquatic. The Western Merchant has to switch out to something else. I think maybe we will try out the Floral Sorceress. That's a spirit we got last time that we haven't really tested out too much. And I'm choosing aquatic because... My plan in this particular one is to go back to the places on the map that we can go now that we can go through water. And we're going to start by going to the left in this room and basically just try to complete things. So I have to remember the swim button. There we go. The swim button is also my dodge button. All right. I kind of want to test out the... Oh no, <laughs> my hammer doesn't work underwater. <laughs> Whoops, didn't notice that. We have to dodge through that attack with a different button than the one that I'm pressing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, that's what happens when we start out. So we can pray underwater. That's a good realization. And I think we've been to this room, but we haven't been in the water of this room. I think that's how, how it works out. So let me remember, this is swim, it's also dodge. That, that enemy is really easy once you know how to swim. Alright, some stagnant blight, which can be used to enhance skills. And let's get our skills back. And our prey back. Now, we've been everywhere we can right here, I believe. So let's ride the teleporter up. I wonder where we can go that we haven't been in this room. It's almost surely underwater. But it could be in the air, because I don't actually know how to deal with the air very much. Okay, I'm gonna try this. The stink. The stink worked fine, I guess. It wasn't it wasn't the best. I'm not doing this well. Let's see here. This one we know how to do that. Crushed. Except he's still alive. There we go. can't tell which one that one is. I need to know whether it's the far away or close up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Pray. <laughs> I'm playing poorly because I'm not... I 
haven't played this in a little while. But don't worry, that won't last too long. It'll probably last for the first respite. But once we get to the next respite, I'll be back into my normal, my normal mode. Let's see here, what can we do against this enemy? Normally I would use my Cliffside Hamlet Youth. I guess we'll use our new Dark Witch Elaine, which is pretty good. We've got 76 of those. So this one, we want to use our sword. Whoa, all right. We know it's in that room and it's dangerous. We really want to destroy that one first. Okay. And we leveled up. I dashed into him, which is not the best. There we go. I know how to deal with this guy. You kind of have to wait once to see what he's about to do. And then you attack. Wait to see what he's going to do. And then attack. Great. Pray again. Now, I know some of these pots are dangerous enemies, and we do not need to do those, because we did those last time. Like that one. Let's kind of just run from that. Because there's no reason to fight them again. Not unless I just want experience, I guess. Kind of waiting for us to encounter more water in this room. I think there's water over to the left there. This is a pretty large room, so it's hard for me to remember what part of it we haven't done. I believe there are these enemies over here. Don't know the best way to deal with two of those, because there are two of those. Yeah, two of them, two of them can be bad. Last time I used my my Cliffside Hamlet youth to deal with this. And this time I'm just dying. I wonder, I wonder if I can use one of these others. No. All right. That worked poorly. Let's be careful. There we go. Now let's be careful again. That was not careful. We almost died. I think we might die. That really might kill us. The fact that we're down here. Ho oh, ho, barely dodged through that. Dodge through that. All right. Now that there's only one, I could win. But I do have to be careful. All right. Technically still alive. But not by a lot. There's another thing that I got last time that I didn't use very well last time, and I have a combo attack for Gerard, and I just didn't realize last time that I had it, until I was watching myself play afterward. Huh. There's something in that room that we still haven't gotten. I'm going to rest at this bench, though. What is it in that room? in the room we were just in that we couldn't get. I don't know, I'm gonna come back later when we have more movement abilities, because I didn't really notice it then. This room, we were able to do nothing in, because we couldn't go through the water. Now we can. Hello, sir. I actually used the wrong button. There we go, crush. These enemies, these underwater enemies that shoot little homing things, are actually really easy. 
I had so much trouble with them before when I didn't have an underwater attack, and they're actually really easy when you do. So we are just going around, I guess, in this room. Ooh, dealing with these guys underwater, that's a little bit different. It's not a lot different. It actually makes it a little bit easier because of my mobility, I think. I'd say right before I get hit. Yeah, I think being able to be very mobile in the water, being able to dash up is pretty interesting, for example makes those guys relatively easy. There's no secret up here, right? No. And this. I keep thinking this is a switch, because there are other switches that look kind of like that. But I guess that's just a light fixture. Dodge? Ooh, ooh, two of them. Two of them seem a little bit harder to dodge, but we can dodge down, remember that. Oh, we have to, have to heal and dodge. Dodge up. <laughs> Learning my cardinal dodge directions. I guess they're not cardinal. I think I can dodge, can I dodge diagonally? I can. So it's not exactly cardinal. Furious Blight! All right. That's excellent. I do like finding all of this stagnant and furious blight because we can upgrade our skills, our abilities. Huh, how do we go up? Maybe we have to go here in order to go up. Oh, I dodged kind of where he was going. Aha, I've got my own stink. <laughs> Although now I can't tell which is mine and which is his. Now you, you are troublesome because I can't see where you're attacking. There you go. And this is definitely a switch. Which we can pull like that. That opens a door. I like opening doors. But also, I would like to open the door that we saw up here. That was just barely far enough to hit him. So this room is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And I don't know how to go up from here. Can I make it to that ledge where that enemy is? I'm not sure if I can. We have we have some jumps, but I don't know if we have enough jumps to go there. I think we should defeat this enemy from a distance. And the Dark Witch Elaine is great at that. That way we can safely attempt to make this jump. Oh, you're a vine one. Vine ones are not too bad. And by the way, again. I did not use my combo attack. Remember to use the combo attack with Gerard. It's new to me, so I haven't used it effectively. Yeah, how do we hit that switch? I want to hit that switch over there. And then come back this way. Brush you. And then... We're still not quite there. I do like having a long distance attack, especially a long distance homing attack. That's very good. And then let's read this. The Tarnished Picture, a picture of the White Priestess of the Font. It appears that the White Priestess was allowed entrance to the Coven, a space usually exclusive to sorcerers and a magical tool was made there for her. Probably because of her friendship with the Dark Witch Elaine, as it were. It seems like there could be something high up in this room. And I'm going to drop down. I think this is going to bring us back to where we were. 
it does, but it gave us a thing to hit. I don't know what that thing did. <laughs> it did something. I'm not sure what it did. So we can go down into the left and up into the right. Based on the mini map, I'm going to go down into the or up into the left first because down into the left looks like the next room. I want to finish this room out if I can. Emphasis on can. This room seems like it could have a lot of secrets that require me to have more jumps than I do. Which one are you? You are the vines. Vines are not too bad. Ooh, a priestess's wish. This makes my prayers better. That gives me more, basically more health between respites. A priestess's quarters, they lived in such a place? They did. They lived in the coven. How about that? It might be that there was something between the coven and the white priestesses. Imagine that, Mr. Umbral Knight. So we have now completed this room. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, that's an enemy. Let's change our weapons. And then defeat the enemies. These are more difficult when you put them on both the ceiling and the floor. But still, these are like the easy enemies. Kind of like there being easy enemies, in addition to hard enemies. Oh, this door is still locked. So we have to come in this from the other direction. We have to come at this from the other direction. But we opened, we opened a door this way too, right? Because this opened a door, right? Or maybe it's a timed door. I see. So we have to get there fast enough. Is that the first time we've encountered that, that mechanic? I don't remember another timed door. Okay, well, we found our way to this exit, which means we can enter a new room. This looks like a new area. Although, that's the same enemy, so so far it's the same. And we leveled up again. Hurrah! Leveling up. I think it does more damage, which is always good. I'm kind of expecting... Ooh, yep, there's something way up there. You can just barely see it when I jump. There's some furious or stagnant blight up there. Oops, oops, danger. Crush. And crush again. I see another one. That one looks more difficult to deal with, honestly. Let's shoot back at her. Oh, ho oh, almost died. Almost died again. Shoot her a couple more times. <laughs> there we go. We've got one more prayer. One more prayer usage. Okay. We are too far to hit with that. But she thinks that we're close. So we're just going to use a whole bunch of this. Because really... The Dark Witch Elaine is excellent, and she has a lot of skill usages, so we should use her. We should use her when it's beneficial. And it is frequently beneficial. She's like the Western Merchant, but maybe better. Great. I'm happy to use up her uses and then get to a respite. This looks like a secret over here. Also, we got hit. I think it's a good time to heal. And pick up some Furious Blight. 
I wonder if we could use our fungal sorcerer effectively against them. It looks like it looks like no. It looks like we're not hitting her. So instead, we'll just hit her from really far away. You know, it's effective. It is very difficult to attack to attack just down a little bit, right? And I mean, our Dark Witch Elaine is having a lot of trouble this time. <laughs> How do we deal with that one? Maybe we can go over here? I don't like that. Hit her twice. Hit her twice. I forgot the second time that time. There we go. Don't really have much of anything that attacks downward. That water does not look safe. I think I'm going to avoid that water. And that is a timed one. It looks like that water doesn't go down very far either. So we have to hit this timed one, and then we have to go this way. We have to go that way very quickly. I'm worried about what's going to be on the other side of that, though. Oh no! Oh no! I jumped in the water accidentally. If we just book it over there, can we make it? Oh, that looks scary. I think... I think that we don't have the capability to defeat that. And I partially think that because, you know, aside from the fact that I keep jumping in the water, but because we can't make it fast enough to get into the room. Yeah. So we're going to have to come back here when we have some skill that allows us to go faster. Faster than we can jump right now. I guess jumping isn't what makes us fast. Running. We can't run very fast right now. We need a dash ability. Or something of that nature to go that way. Which is fine. That looked like a new area. And my goal for this episode was not new areas. It was old areas. I want to go and find the things in the areas we've been. Which means we go back this way. And then I want to go up a room. What's the easiest way to go up a room? I think it's going around here. So while I'm going up, let me mention one of the things that we did last time was get the floral sorceress spirit. And that was particularly interesting because the Floral Sorceress was a partner to the Fungal Sorcerer. And now we have both halves of those spirits. So, enter here. Rest again, because that seems necessary. And then, before we fast travel, let's look at the map. So... I actually don't want to fast travel. I want to go directly left of us and then explore those rooms on the left. Let's do that. I think we can get the rest of the things in these rooms too. Got him. Man, I do really like my Gerard spirit. Now, I'm looking for water here, more or less. I don't know what's in this room exactly. I think there was actually something that I couldn't get to because of movement in the air, which I probably still can't get to. This one, we learned last time that the sword is better, for me at least, at fighting this one. Got him. The bottom of this room... 
we have that water, but that's not what I meant by water. I am not seeing anything yet. We leveled up again. Great. Ooh, got hit by that one though. Not the best. We did get that up there, and we got that by going over here. Yeah, defeat this one, and then deal with that one. Great. I'm doing enough damage now that I can do things like that. Alright, I saw the thing that we haven't gotten. It's up there. And I believe that we still can't get it. So we probably should keep going back. Can't quite make that jump? I think we can make that jump. I feel like we have made this jump. Yes. So, careful. Remember to dodge their attack. Their attacks are dangerous enough that you basically always want to dodge attacks. And keep going up. I'm pretty sure the room... the room above us here... we have not done everything here that we can now do, I believe. So we can... we can go over here, but then we can't go further that way. Maybe we won't be able to do this yet. Let's go around. Kind of remember that we can go around. We can go up this way and to the right and go around. For one, we've never gone directly right in this room, and I feel like we can. This bird is staying in my range, which is really nice. The birds are usually staying far out of my range, like that one is. Oh, oh got both birds at once. Two birds, one stone. Did get hit there, though. Let's heal up. And then... Hit some birds. Great. That worked well. Now, what can we do down here? Very hard to see down there. Oh, I missed with the hammer. Okay. So, here is where we went last time, I believe. And then we jumped... We jumped down to the left. But if we don't jump down to the left, then we can stay on the right side and maybe go somewhere else. Where we have not been. There's at least some enemies this way. If I go down there, I'm pretty sure I can get back up. That's important for me. And <laughs> we can just hang out in this corner and not get hit. Dodge. And destroy. This room seems pretty difficult to navigate without some up and down movement ability that I do not have. Ooh, but we do get some stagnant light. Yes. That's something new that we've collected. Still not all of it for the room, though. Now, can I actually get back up? Yes. Good. <laughs> Wasn't completely sure. Can we get over to the right? 
Looks like the answer is no. So if we can't go to the right, then we can't go there. Which means this room is somewhat of a bust too in terms of completing. But let's continue going left. If nothing else, there is another place, another respite to the left, and another room that is blue on the map. I'm trying to collect all the things so we can power up a little bit before we go toward a new area. I'm not exactly sure where the new area that we would go to is in the first place. There are a few places we can go because we have the swim, but I'm not sure which one would be an appropriate place to go. Don't really want to change anything, just want to keep going. This room, I believe, has a lot of water. Ha ho! Did you see that mid-air dodge there? All right, you are getting some of these. There we go. We can go down here. Let's change to our aquatic set. Ha oh, ho, that worked pretty well. It also stunned him, by the way, which I didn't actually do anything with. Ooh, and a chain, chain of sorcery. Another relic slot. That's very nice to see. I like getting relic slots. And then what else is in the water? Aside from more mermaid zombies. I'm sure there's more of those too. Okay, whoa, there's a dog on the floor too. Okay, the dog fell in the water. We got hit a little bit there, but at least we defeated all three enemies, too. Here's a barrel, which we can hit with this. That seemed like a pretty empty barrel. How about these barrels? They had something. Oh man, I'm so bad at the dogs now. I'm not used to them. Oh man, I dodged into the dog. Not the best. I'm supposed to dodge past the dog. So there's more water here, which means there's more potential for things to collect. Yes. This is a passageway that leads to an amulet fragment. Max HP plus five. That is also essentially health that we can get between respites. And we've completed the room, according to the map. Which means... Let's look at our map again. That means there's not really anything to do that we haven't at least tried to do to the right of us. Aside from maybe the far right, but I, I don't think so. So I think we should go back to the respite we were at before and teleport somewhere else and look for things somewhere else. And I would teleport to the crossroads first, maybe. Or maybe where we where we got Gerard, perhaps. And we're going to respites relatively frequently, so I haven't died, but I have not necessarily played well. I just have been going quickly between respites. So, the crossroads would go here. There's two blue rooms right there. I'm going to check those two out. And then I'm going to go back to where we found Gerard and see where we can go from there. So... Crossroads. We can go down here, right? And there is water down here. And that water leads to... Nowhere. The water did not have anything in it. I was hopeful. So 
So if there's not a secret in the water, let's try right of the bench and then left of the bench. Right of the bench has nothing. So if there's something in this room, it has to be to the left of the bench. Or there's some secret that I don't know about how you find yet. There's more water. There we go. An amulet fragment. More HP. All right. And the room is done. Excellent. Next room. This room... This room was a very early room. And I'm gonna do this. That was effective. This is where we found the Cliffside Hamlet youth. Ho oh, ho, and there's this. So we can crush that. We have to crush it from above, though. Because it is the more... I don't know, the more pustulant ground, I guess? Crush. And we get a chain of sorcery. Very nice. Another relic slot. That probably means when we get to the next bench, we should we should actually look at our relics. And we finished this room, so let's go back and teleport somewhere else. I haven't found a spirit yet, or at least one where I could get into the room that the spirit was. So, relics. We are not wearing this. We are now wearing every single relic we found, because we have enough slots for all of them. That's kind of silly. And let's fast travel. I wanted to fast travel to the bridgehead. And we could go down here? Somehow? Yes. We could go down here. Let's go down here. This will be all new stuff. Maybe we can find a new respite. That wasn't really... That wasn't really part of the plan for the episode, but I kind of want to find a new thing. It'd be nice to find a new spirit, for example. Oh, one of those. The easy ones. And some Furious Blight. Excellent. Up here looks like nothing. And what is in here? More of those. Oh, there's, there's a lock on the other side. So we actually can't go this way. Well, I guess we'll go here later. I guess we need to go over the bridgehead to get to the other side, which means we need some vertical movement, which we do not have. In the meantime, let's check out the other two rooms connected to this that are blue on the map. How about the downward path first? Oh, we do enough damage that these guys are no problem anymore. And then I recall down here there was water, right? I sort of recall there being water somewhere. Yes, there's water over there. So let's go in that water. We can fight this before we get up there. Great. Just swing my sword right through the wood there. You. You are a problem. The, the other one hit me. The one that's further away. There. Got him. Some more stagnant blight. And, according to the map, we finished this room. 
I really do like checking things off, and we have been checking things off. No reason not to heal right here, because this is right there. And how do we get to the left? It's not through the water, I don't think. Oh, we can swim right past here. Never mind. It looks like that's a blockade, but it's not. I want to go this way before we explore this room at all. So this room... This room I think we can't do. Because I think we need vertical movement to do this room. Which we do not have. We have a little bit of vertical movement, but not enough for some of the things required. I did not see this enemy for a second, which is kind of silly because he's gigantic. And then all of those, all of those are problematic. Got two of them. There should be a down path somewhere. This is a large room though, isn't it? I kind of recall this being a large room with lots and lots of enemies. This path. Right. This one, we were able to pull this lever and that opened a path somewhere else. Now we have to go to that somewhere else to actually go through that room. So let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of mid-air dodging... dodging all these different things, all these different projectiles. And I'm doing okay, considering. Ooh, this one. This one we could potentially go through. Defeat that guy first. Oh, oh, he's one of those. We need to heal. I interpreted him as one of the other enemies. He is swinging a sword, now he's not. And bow. Got him. Wait a minute. How do we get to the top of this? Because I feel like that's what we need to do in order to drop down, is get up there. Oh no, we can't we can't do that ground yet. Okay. Well. Let's keep going back. What if we go one to the left here, and no reason not to rest because I'm not going to go back through those rooms. I'm going to try to do one, one new thing, and then we'll rest at the next respite and finish this episode. So down here. That's where we want to be. Now we can go to the left. And that is a new enemy. I think that enemy explodes. I was correct. Visual clues. He explodes. There we go. Let's go down here. And there should be a left and a right. I kind of want to go right. This is what we opened as well. What is this way? Outset. Reach 10 respites. All right. We actually got to a respite. Pick up Risha's ring. 
A relic. The ring worn by the white priestess of the font. The third priestess of the font was of special note in that she was less susceptible to the blight, allowing her to bestow salvation upon its sufferers. Grants the ability to parry once equipped. Press RT in time with an incoming attack to repel the strike and nullifies its effects. So RT happens to be that move. The dodge move. So that sounds pretty nice. Ooh, a cutscene. The sunken graveyard is upon us. Signs of the ancients litter this place. Indeed, not much has changed since then. In fact, the ancients once called what is now Land's End their home. Their homes, their families, their honor, all stolen away from them. I don't know that I would call immortality a form of survival. But either way, I am the last of the ancient warriors. Once I fell, nothing remained of my era after I awoke, save for my deathless pact, of course. Which is to say, I think we both feel what it's like to be left all alone. Aw. So there actually is a down. I'm not going to go down. What I am going to do is save at this respite. And we're going to look at our relics. Slots zero. So you can just wear it all the time. All right. That's a, that's a nice effect. And let's depart. In this episode, I leveled up to 27 and I collected a lot of Stagnant and Furious Blight. I did not find any new spirits, but I did upgrade Guardian Seagrid to level 3. I collected a little of everything. One Relic, one Finding, one Achievement, two Amulet Fragments, two Chains of Sorcery, and my second ever Priestess's Wish. All in the duty of making the mini-map turn orange. I found one new Relic, Frisha's Ring, which costs zero relic slots to wear, which makes you wonder why it is a relic rather than an action. Why would I take it off? My five relics only take up six slots, so I'm again in the odd situation of not having to make choices about which relics to wear. Check out my tracking sheet, link in the video description, new episodes every Sunday, and thanks for watching.